Hello everyone and welcome to Elden Ring. In today's video I'm going to share with you the details in order to get an early build focus on blocking and strength. This is ideal for those like me who don't necessarily enjoy dodging only and want to focus on blocking even bosses. And so without any further delay let's just jump right into it. Let's begin with our starting class, we can either go with Hero or Vagabond. This will depend on the weapon of choice. The early greatsword you find at the start of the level is the best if you go with Hero. If you want to go with Claymore or other weapon that also has some dexterity requirement, you can go with Vagabond. Hero has the best stats that doesn't waste dexterity because our primary stats are going to be Vigor, Endurance and Strength. Let's have a look at each step we're going to take after our starting class. We're going to unlock the Church of Ele in order to get some materials and then go to this location and trigger the dialogue with Melina and unlock Torren. At this wagon we're going to get the Lodsworn Greatsword which will be our weapon of choice. Either we're going to go all the game or most of the game until we get the boss weapon or something you like a little better with higher strength or until you get the claymore in case you want to go with that. There are two best sealed options you can find early in the game. One you can farm it here at the game front ruins and the other I will show you a little later. You have to farm the soldiers here, it's a random drop, it can take you from 10 to 20 or 30 minutes depending on the luck. In the meantime you can level up your dexterity to 10 and use the great sword we have gotten because it has an insane critical multiplier and basically one shot if you go for stealth all the enemies here. This is the route I used to farm the shield in order to make things as easy as possible and in the meantime you can also take the time as an optional to unlock the ashes of war that are below here in the dungeon. You don't have to do it a second time to go to fight the wolves because they're not very easy to deal with multiple enemies and it will take you a little longer. We are looking for the brass shield. It has the best starting guard boost and 100% physical damage reduction. Guard boost means that blocks will consume less stamina and it's the best compared to all the other options including the other silk you can get. The second silk you can get is located in the Castle Mort Rampant. Just go through the current on top of this tower and you will get the Great Turtle Seal. It has worse guard boost but offers a passive stamina regen and on top of that it already has the skill we want compared to the brass steel that we'll have to get it from a boss, the barricade shield. The next item we need is a talisman and in order to access it we need one stone swan key. You can get one here from the stone hill sack, however if you started with one as a keepsake you can skip this part. We need the turtle talisman for a passive stamina regen. It is located in the summon warder village outskirts. We need to open the fog gate using the stone swan key, go downstairs, open the chest and get it. So we're almost until the end but before we proceed to the next step I highly recommend to farm some materials and level up your weapons and flasks. I will follow up with the other videos so this one won't be as lengthy and in order for you to use them as templates in case you want to go for other builds that I will probably upload soon in the channel. After you upgrade your weapons and flasks with the remaining runes and the runes we have farmed throughout the level, we will level up our character. We need 18 Vigor, 15 Endurance and 18 Strength as a beginning template in order to have a overall balance for survivability, blocking and DPS. At this point your weapon should be at least plus 3 or plus 4, you will have 6 to 7 flasks and the Wanderous flask will offer us two things either healing and boost strength or boosting strength and endurance. More details regarding the flasks on videos that are coming soon. You either have to wait until nightfall or come at night at the castle Morn Rapman in order to summon the boss Knight's Cavalry. You can finish the boss easily using Torrent and a couple of healing items for Torrent and yourself and after that you will get the Ash of War that you need for your Brass Seal. You can skip this part in case you want to go with the turtle shell, however, 
Personally, I do prefer the Brass Seal because it offers the better guard boost, so it consumes much less stamina when you block enemies and bosses. After that, with the rest of the runes you're getting, go to Vingor until 20 to be able to survive 2 to 3 very hard hits, and after that, focus on strength and endurance. Go 20 everything and then start balancing them out in case you want more blocks, more damage, or more survivability. These are your three stats, that's why I love this build. You only need Vigor, Strength and Endurance. You don't need Mind because the Barricade Shield consumes so low FP that it's not worth it to waste your levels on Mind. Worst case scenario, you won't get so much damage and you can swap one of your flasks to replenish some focus points. And that was the build. From here you can pretty much block everything without using so much stamina and in case you face hard hitting enemies mini bosses or bosses use the barricade shield with fp for 15 to 20 seconds you can block multiple hits with barely consuming any stamina leaving you the option to counter attack reposition and just survive very easy without the need to dodge before we close the video i will leave you the full fight of the leonin miss begoden that was my first try with his character and although i did mess up a little with the rotation and with my blocks, that's why we have the Vigor, that's why we have the Flasks and we upgraded them. The fight was very easy, I did it in my first try, because this build's nature is very forgiving and you don't have to go for perfect dodges. Blocks are very good and can be used even against bosses. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video and an extra thank you in case you stick around until the end. Feel free to stay tuned, like, subscribe for more upcoming videos for Elden Ring and other video games. And as always, I wish you all a wonderful day.